This is Twit. So, so basically, your DB at its core is a database. And databases live and die by the integrity of the data that's entrusted to them. So this is mm -hmm. a code base which is extremely mature, which is currently used in some of the largest um, real-time code banking systems in the world, as well as a nation-scale electronic health record deployment. So it's it's a it's a proven database. It's been around for a long time, continuously uh, enhanced and and um, extended. And what we're doing with it is basically taking that database, all these years it has essentially been bound to the MUMPS programming language. And mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of those things which is a little bit like uh, anchovies in your pizza. You either love it or, or you don't. And what we're doing is we're taking that database and we're extending it to other languages. We've extended it to C and we're extending it to Go and, um, and other languages to follow. Now, we had Vista on a couple of weeks ago. What is, is there a relationship between Vista and Yada? So Vista is basically an application that's written in the MUMPS language and which counts on the fact that the MUMPS language and the MUMPS database are closely coupled. Mm. And, uh, and Vista happens to run on YadaDB because YadaDB is an implementation of MUMPS as well as, so it's a MUMPS database and a MUMPS language. And mm. when Vista uses it, it uses the MUMPS language and the database. And so how did you get involved with this project? How did I get in? Well, I was um, 30 years, no, in 1995, I was looking for a job. And mm -hmm. um, my resume happened to land on the uh, inbox of the founder of a company called Greystone. And he happened to be looking for someone to lead the engineering team. So I had breakfast with him a few days later. And January 1st, 1995, I started um, working for him. So I've been managing the predecessor of YadaDB since then. And it was a run by a small company in Boston. Eventually, I came to lead the company. That company got bought by its biggest customer, and that got bought by a Fortune 500 company and so on. So for 20 years, you've seen the picture of a small fish getting swallowed by a bigger fish, getting swallowed by an even bigger fish. That was the story of my career. And then last year, I left the Fortune 500 company, and the code base was open source and uh, decided that uh, it was time to take that uh, that code base uh, to to uh, exploit its full potential so as you know i well, after all those years the code base had sort of become like um, one of my kids and in fact when i posted on my facebook page saying this code base is like one of my kids one of my sons responded saying well sometimes i feel like gtm so there we go and so we started YadaDB along with a couple of the other um, long-term members of the team, and we're taking that forward. 